Hello, this is the Animation Fanatic. Um, people, I'm really sorry for not being quite up to date with my reviews lately. I've just been crazy busy. I should have done the Korra and Mutant Turtles stuff last week, and now I'm going to pay for it this week because I'll even have even more to do. But I did, I did not know they were releasing four episodes at once. So... I'm going to say this in my review, but I'm going to review them one at a time. I'm not going to review them all as one big mini-movie. I'm going to just review them one at a time and see what happens. And at the last one, I'll sum it all up. Okay. But I'm not here to talk about Korra, and I'm not here to talk about Turtles. And I'm not here to talk about Catching Fire, which I will, when I see it, I'll bring you a review. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about any of that. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick. <coughs> I'm here to talk about Total Drama All-Stars, this week's episode. Oh, just saw it this morning. Um, <coughs> what can I say? It was it was a pretty good episode. It's it's an improvement over last week's. And, uh, well, to put it this way, uh, old habits die hard, and old Courtney's die harder. And Courtney got back into her old habits of trying to uh, be a little bitch. Or, <laughs> or just trying to play the game. Uh, you could, you could argue play the game, or you could argue trying to destroy everyone, give or take. It's not total friendship. It's called total drama. But on the other hand, Courtney's acting the way she did back in action. Well, okay, maybe not that bad. But so she makes this chart like an idiot. She makes this chart of who she wants to eliminate and when. Problem is, Mike, also known as Mal, gets a hold of the chart and shows it to everybody. Then it's a big race that Chris sets up to find the ice cream needed to make an ice cream sundae. Only thing is, it's all in dangerous places. By the way, I like it how not only he made the mountain, the jump-off mountain, snowy and slippery, that was cool, but also how he redid the total drama robot to try to kill people. It's too bad he didn't use Chef in this challenge, though. I think that could have been funny, but whatever. Anyway, uh, Mal's still looking for the tape, the DVD that Alejandro left behind, and, but he can't seem to find it. I'm really liking Mal as a villain now. He started off kind of lame, but it's gotten a lot better. Oh, by the way, we get to see Mike inside his head again, and he frees Vito from having to do a ventriloquist act. Anyway, <coughs> back to the main plot. Oh, Scott is mad at Courtney for drawing him as a rat. Gwen's mad at Courtney for eliminating her, only bringing her to the final three. Zoe doesn't trust Courtney. And Mike is, you know, Mal is just, well, Mal. I, I'd like to get to something that I haven't talked about before. I don't quite know who to root for in this. I guess I'm rooting for Zoe since, even though she had her character development last season, she's really proven herself a strong competitor. I'd root for Gwen, but I doubt she's going to win. Um, obviously, after this challenge, I can't root for Courtney. I didn't really know she'd be eliminated. I thought it would end up being Scott. Because, well, last week's was so obvious, but after a while, I thought, well, maybe Alejandro's going to make it. Nope, he's not. He's out. I knew it. So obvious. This one wasn't quite as obvious, and I'll get into that why <coughs> that was in a second. But I guess I'm rooting for Zoe. I just can't bring myself to root for Scott, no matter how much they change his character in this. Not that I don't like the change, but I do not forgive Dawn, and I no, I do not forgive the Dawn incident, nor do I forget it. And that's why I'll never root for Scott. Doesn't matter how much of a good guy he turns into, I'll never root for him. Ever. So, anyway, um, we have a lot of back and forth between people, secret alliances, etc., etc. It basically ends up Gwen promises Courtney not to vote for her, but but has, says, tells Courtney to vote for herself. I thought in the game, if you voted for yourself, it regardless of how many votes you get, you get eliminated. That's what they suggested back in Total Drama Action. Now, to be fair, Lindsay's vote back then tipped the balance towards her instead of Duncan, but or did it? I can't remember exactly. I'd have to watch the episode again, but I thought if you voted for yourself, you eliminated yourself, which Courtney might have forgotten or not known about, but Gwen did. Although neither of them were at the show at that time. They were they were watching it. They weren't in it. Anyway, point being, Gwen supposedly votes for Scott, but 
Courtney votes for herself, and two other ba people vote for her, so Courtney goes. I don't know if Gwen orchestrated that or not. I really can't tell. This was just... And who did everyone else vote for? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Zoe won the competition, so she gets to go into the mansion. Oh, by the way, you get two priceless moments with her face. It's... I, I didn't... You know, you, you always you forget. They do facial expressions really nicely in this show sometimes. And Zoe's facial expressions are just priceless both times. Just terror at the gator that's trying to eat her and terror at Chris breaking into her room, which is actually quite horrifying once you think about it. Um, but anyway, uh, like I said, Courtney gets eliminated. So as Chris said, we're down to four contestants, the final four. Zoe and Zoe still thinks Mike is okay, so they're still sort of teamed up. Gwen, I guess, can team up with them. And Scott's got no more allies, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, who's going to be next? I don't know. I really can't. I, I really can't tell who's who's going to be who's going to be on the chopping block. I saw a picture somewhere that suggested Zoe, but I don't know whether to go with that and I don't know where people might have found the uh the film for that. So, we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen in this in still exciting season of total drama.